Mother Teresa and the little uh, sacristies are adjacent to the chapels. They have the uh, familiar prayer and it says, pray as if this is your first mass. Pray the mass as if it is your last one. And the third one is pray this mass as if it is your only mass. And, and I, I try to keep that and take that to heart every time I pray the mass. And I think, what if this is the last mass I were to pray? And, and that motivates me to be totally synchronized with that eternal and transcendent nature of the mass that I celebrate. And I find that very sustaining. One of the elements of that, that priestly role of sanctifying. Now, as I take on that moment of transcendence, of moving into this eternal moment of our Lord Jesus Christ, it helps me to think in terms of the fact that I'm going to leave this world and that I will have had this amazing opportunity to have been connected to the eternal banquet of our Lord Jesus Christ while here in this world. Um, I think quite often of that moment of the Last Supper. I think, go, do this in memory of me. In, in the Mass, you know, we have that, that beautiful moment where the Eucharist is, is prayed over with the prayers and words of institution, where I go back to the night before Jesus died and I live out the Last Supper praying those same words that Jesus did. That, that is the, the moment of transubstantiation where bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. When I say those words, I make my personal connection with Jesus Christ who is thinking about this perpetual sacrifice that is going to be done in the life of the church. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. To me, it's a taste of the eternal. To me, it's a taste of, of, of the table of our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. way when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. I think it has to be that, that sense of the prayer of Simeon that is done in Compline. Lord, let your servant now go in peace, for my eyes have seen the salvation of the Lord. Um, and, and in looking in that, you know, the, the being tied into the life of Christ, being in a discipleship through the course of the day should give me or any priest a great sense of we have participated in the great mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ being promoted and advanced. Now I do it through the faith communities to which I am assigned and hopefully I'm doing it and keep my prophetic role wherever I go. But when I get to the end of my day, if I can say that, that I'm like Simeon, that I have seen God's work done in the world today through my own instrumentality uh, of being a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ, then I will sleep well that night. <laughs>